What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Shout Dog 240 coming back with another 2K vid. Well, this is not a regular rank game. This is from the other league that I'm in, MLS. Uh, 10 minute quarters, 30 man league, 58 games. As you can see, my starters are D Will, Wesley Matthews, AK 47. That's Andre Karolinko, if y'all don't know. Skola and Terrio. And it's like a water point guards because he have Chris Paul. So I already knew this was going to be a good one. But, uh, we start off, they get the first possession. Then it's Matthews, and it's Turioff in at the five spot. And I'm just trying to figure out his play style. Everybody in this league is legit, just like the other one. And this is how you start the game off. That's just nasty. I mean, seriously. I mean, you ain't got to start the game off with a dunk like that. But I said, right, it's all good. So I say, ain't nowhere in hell I'm going to let him get a dunk like that off again. Not on my watch. So I said, let me play some defense. Let me show this dude right now. Oh, all right. So, yeah. So, Shannon came through and uh, pretty much did the same thing. But we ain't going to get down. So, we on our first little break. You know, I throw my little alley. And, yeah, he get hung and get bailed out by a foul call. But, uh, yeah, we about to finally get on the board. Started off kind of rough in this game. But uh, we going to get it together. That look just like Wesley Matthews. And as you can see, it had the lag in this game was terrible. And the bad thing about it, we was playing on my connection. So maybe it was me. I'm going to say it was him, even though it probably wasn't. But uh, we got through the game pretty good with it. You can see that post fadeaway jumper. Nice play by him. And the screen is small, so I really can't see what's going on as usual. So, if I'm not calling out his player's name, it's because I can't see him. I only really know the people that's on my team. So, trying to get a play set up. We get it to Scola. Get it back to D-Will. And you already know we dropped him off at the free throw, but he misses. But D-Will said, let me get it back. I'm going to make that one up. So, I give it back to him, and he dropped him off for three. We make a strong move to the basket. We foul him. And so far in this league, I am 10 and 2. So we trying to make a trying to make a strong move. And I believe he, I'm, I'm number two in the West, and I think he's number three. So uh, this is a real important game for both of us. I want to keep my spot, and he's trying to take my spot. So this is a big game for the both of us. And D. Will from mid range is just nasty. So you gonna see him throw that shot up a couple times. We get the rebound. And what I do is I cut the short, the sh shot short. I'm sorry, man. I cut it off too short. I did that a couple times because I was really rushing through this edit, trying to cut it as close as I can. You see, he get a a nice alley. So I think that was Shannon Brown. Let Shannon dunk dot com. And uh, we just run a little screen and see that boy D will go to the rack with some aggression. That's good. He get that shot up. Fades away, and it's Butler missing. And the fadeaway was about his only option there. Really good defensive position. We didn't call a play, we just running. And I luckily get Darren Williams open for another three. I don't like not coming up down. And we're just playing real good deep right now. You see he gets the save. And we're running up. And he tried to make the steal. And almost get the steal, but we end up getting lucky. And Wesley Matthews go down for a wide open dunk. So right now we're just trying to get a stop, man. Cause this guy was scoring at will. Seems like I couldn't stop him from scoring. And when you do that, you come up with steals. And when you got Chris Paul on your team, you know he's going to make something happen. As far as putting people where they're supposed to be to get that easy score. Moving the ball well, and there's the pass to Butler. And we just playing D. Trying to finally get a stop and. 
CP3 gets that a little eight footer in the paint. Defended by Paul. So you see that's Eric Maynard. And again it's the Lakers. Off the screen at the free throw line. He did the rest, knocking down the J. So that's the end of the first. We ended off pretty good, you know. So um, the whole thing is, you know, I bring my whole bench in when it's the start of the second. So I'm just saying, come on, bench, let's get this. Let's get this going. We don't want to fall off at all. And I get the good quick steal by Eric Manning. He goes to the rack real strong. And I thought he was going to miss that all get it blocked. But I said, I'm not going to pull it back for a jump. I'm going to go ahead and just go to the rack and see what happens. So luckily, I get the, the easy layup. Corner shot. Again. Look at this. We just kept getting offensive rebounds. And out of those offensive rebounds, he get an and one. At that point, I was pissed. Part of his game. He's really good on the offensive glass. Again, back to Williams and Steve just talking about him and Arizona Wildcats. So now we're just trying to set up a quick play. This was intended for Wesley, Matthews, or no, John Salmons. But uh, you see he's playing real good D to the person I'm supposed to pass it to. So I just had to go in with Jamario Moon. And Jamario Moon is playing real good for me in this league right now. So... That play broke down, so you have to real, really adjust real quick and say, okay, I got to go somewhere else. What's plan B? Shot clock at five. And I get bailed out. Eric Maynard knocks down a free throw line jumper. Randolph kicks to Paul. Back to Randolph. He gets the foul. It's either he get a foul or he get the score. It's like I could not pull away from this guy. Well, yes, it is Carlos Arroyo. Why do I have him? I don't know. But he hit a couple shots for me in this game. I can't lie. You see, he's playing real good defense. And, and just like that, that play, that's Derrick Williams. That's the um the rookie. I really don't like playing with him, but I'm trying to get rid of him. But you see, that play broke down. I just had to make something happen again because of his good defense. Down is and he just leaves Jamar your moon wide open. You hear him giving a quick pause. I don't know what that was for, but we almost get the steal with Arroyo. And that's I mess up again. You know, you try to go for that steal, you be too aggressive. And he knocks down a three, and I end up cutting it off too early. Sorry about that. Well, I know Steve would have liked to have finished his career. We get the screen right here. And I love that screen. That's for John Salmons. As you notice, I like to dwell at the free throw line a lot when it comes to my jump. We play real good D, cut off passing lanes, and he get the ball right back. For real good, strong move at the rim. So that was a good recover by him. You see, we playing the passing lanes, and we playing the best D that we can play. And I'm trying to do everything, and we we finally get it. Simons go out, throw the alley, Jamario Moon. That's all day, baby. And we played the pass lanes real good in this game. You see right here, the shot clock is going down. I'm like, man, I can't play better defense, but I end up jumping way too early. And Karan Butler's going to knock that down every time. You see, I try to throw a pass, and his good defense read that pass the whole time. And Net Shannon Dunk.com again. Well, his eyes got wide as he went up for that one. And he timed his leap perfectly to meet the pass at the top. And you see, that was just me dribbling, trying to create some space with Arroyo. That was a nice shot by him. Shot clock going down. We always get that shot clock to go down. We play good for the first 23 seconds. But right on that last second, he ended up getting that shot off. So that's the first half. We're trying to come back in this game strong. I end up leaving my my bench in by accident. You see Manny get blocked and he gets the alley. That was a nice play by him. I still have my bench in, but you see my starters, they're on the sideline, they ready to come in. And I don't see how he got that shot off. I couldn't play better defense than that. 
Another shot clock going all the way down, but they still give him the points. Second chance effort. You see at the free throw line again. He just come in just smashing on me like, like it wasn't nobody down there. This is my favorite play, the flex cutter. You already know. It's going to AK-47. From 20 feet out. His shot is wet for mid-range. He look like he run the same play, but he don't get that uh shot off. And he just give me the jump. Bad defense by me. Skola get it. I was gonna pull that. I said, nah. Let me get it back to Skola to get him in the in the post. I was trying to do a little fake shimmy uh, move, but I ended up pulling for the J. He ended up making it, so. But I wasn't trying to do that, but the, the end result is he made I had two points out of it, so I can't complain. You see, that's bad defense by me. And he do a nice open under move. Here is Williams. He's got 14. Darren Williams has 14. We're not calling the play right now. I'm just trying to get open. Skola with the good putback. Because usually when I play, if you see when I'm playing with the uh, my regular Lakers, I have to call plays because most of the time I'm running a point with Derek Fisher. He's not a, a point guard that can really just get his own shot. So I get happy when I get those point guards like Darren Williams where I know he can create his own shot. So sometimes I don't run a play. I just want to go down the court and do a couple of ISO dribbles and try to get them free and get that wide open jumper. And the Lakers have possession. They've led by as much as 10. Skola. There's just Duke Kirilenko. Oh, this is a strong move by Karen Lico. You never see too many I cut it off too early, though. Paul kicks to Gortat. And I was like, what the hell just happened? Leonard's got eight points. Went off his fingertips and went and into the rim, Williams. so it's all good. Wesley Matthews. Matthews. That boy Jay is nasty. You can see again, I'm not calling any plays. I'm just dribbling with. I'm dribbling with Darren Williams, trying to make something happen. He plays very good defense to get that steal. Now I'm just trying to get the stop, and I'm like, nah, that's not gonna happen. I might as well go ahead and charge that to the game because I already know he's about to get two out of this. I'm trying to force it on the interior. This is bad offense by me. And this right here just me being happy because I just have a, a elite point guard right now, and I end up getting bailed out. Let me make a strong move to the basket and get the dunk. It's last minutes, and Guard Top knocked down a big shot for them to lead into the four. Try to knock in a fade to the right. Three point jumper that didn't go in. So it's the fourth quarter. We up by three. It's a close game. So I know I'm about to bring my bench in again. So Mike Brown on the sideline telling them, let's get it together. And he made that shot. And I'm sorry to him that I, I cut this shot off way too fast. I'm sorry about that to y'all, too. I rushed through this edit, though. And that was me not calling any plays. That was just... I seen the shot clock running down. I'm being real. And I knew that uh, Jamar Moon, he could make those hard, aggressive moves to the basket. So I ended up getting bailed out with a foul call. Plenty of tough teams in the West and Stephen East, like you were talking about. But you see the lag, just terrible. It didn't matter anyway, because I didn't deserve those two baskets anyway, because I was. You see, we playing real good D. Here we go again with Eric Maynard. I said, I'm going to just take my chances, and he ended up hitting the layup. So Eric Maynard's playing good for me in this league. And that was a lag, but he got the putback. You know I'm going to run my favorite play, the flex cutter right here. That's going to John Salmons at the elbow all day. Made a real good defensive play again, and Jamar Moon going to the rack. That's automatic. You see him salute the crowd. The boy saluted. I like that. And that's real good defense by him. 
He did that to me about three or four times in a game where he just ran down the shot clock, just blocking every last one of my jumpers I put up. And you see, he get a, a good, nice alley to the rack. So it's real. He just giving me space, so I said, I'm going to pull it. Thankfully, Eric Maynard hit that. And they bail him out right here with a foul. That was good defense by me. Got the Polish hammer going to the rack. He gets fouled. He knocked down his free throw. So now I have AK-47 coming in to get some defensive stop for us. My starters are back out on the floor. Catching up on the changes for Phoenix. Haywood comes in for Anthony Randall. Well, my starters are not back out on the floor. You see Jamario Moon just nasty. Yeah, Chris Paul, you fouled him. Well, that's a play that's going to be remembered from this game, that's for sure. I think that was more like a banana split, Clark. Jamario Moon converts to and one. So we have a real good start going on. If I can see correctly, we're up by seven right now. And then Chris Paul come right back on the next possession and get a good step back jumper. Never can rest or relax when you know you got CP3 on the other end of the court. And that's just Jaja Pachulia with a nice up and under. I think that was his only points for the whole game. I can't do nothing with that guy. But he pulled off that uh he pulled off that up and under for me. Nice jump shot by him. Here's Williams. Shot clock is winding down. There's the double team with Allen. Over Paul. Put it in the hands of a playmaker. And he'll make a play happen. That's what D. Will just did for me and bailed me out. Karan is one of the toughest players in the league and has been since he stepped foot in the NBA. If anybody can come back from that. See, we play those pass lanes. They, the he got away with that one. Is right on but we played real good D. I was happy with our defense in this game. Scola. Scola, I don't know what you're doing all the way out there by the three-point line. Butler against Kirilenko. Turioff. Back to Kirilenko. Not calling the play, just trying to make something happen. We get bailed out with a foul call. He averaged around 11 or 12 points a game, and his numbers stay pretty consistent. Andre Karolinko. And he knocks down the first one. Anthony that free throw had me scared for a minute. I was like, it stayed on the rim. Rolling around a little bit too long for me. And yes, I did cut it off. But everybody ain't perfect. Playing good D, playing the pass lanes. And he fouls me. Got Scola going to the line. Just very good defense playing the passing lane. We saw where that pass was going before he even made it. Missed the free throw because of the bad lag. And I love that mentality. You talk about it earlier being the aggressor. It's the right seven. So we got he will out there not calling any play. Just want to make something happen. Quick ISO, just roll to the rack, get a strong layup. They really look like they believe in what they're doing. Yeah, a little swagger here from this team. They're in a nice groove. And we end up leaving him open. Any separation from Chris Paul for mid-range, that's automatic. Two points. You see, he made a quick, good steal. I don't know how many alleys he done threw already. That's about a 6-1. You see me, I'm just trying to put my hands up, trying to play the best defense I can on Chris Paul. We do a real good job. Shot clock going down, and they bail him out with a foul call. I'm like, come on, man. I can't play better D than that. You got to reward good defense. So right now, I think we're only up by three. And he's playing the press. And when you play the full court press on me, I'm just going to try to speed down the court, try to get past your people. And he passes back out to AK-47, and what he do? Knocks down the dagger. Big shot for us. Now, he shoots a three with Chris Paul on this play right here, but even after this three, I felt like the game was still over. We played real good defense, but... 
He's still end up getting it. Still playing the press. I get past all his players. Get somebody open. We didn't make nothing happen. I tried to shoot that ball with Darren Williams, but he ended up pulling up a fake. Sometimes they do that. They do that on alleys, too. They throw a fake pass, and we're trying to throw an alley. AK-47 was big in these last minutes for me. Gives him a four point cushion. So now we're up by four. You see my team, they ain't get that man no doubt or nothing. He done came through in the fourth quarter. At least Darren Williams could have did was came and gave that man doubt, you know, at the free throw line. Give him a little bit of encouragement, tell him he's doing a good job, but they ain't do that. So he just putting up a desperate three right now. And the only thing he can do is foul me. AK-47 at the line, the first one, through the leg, he knocks down his free throw. Perfect from the line, and it's a seven-point ball game. And here comes Brown. That's a two from Paul. This Paul knocks down a two, but this game is pretty much over now. It was a good game by him. Great defensive work right there. We are now on 11-2. I'm going to try to get in my game tonight. I'm going to try to record that one also and try to bring y'all that one. But uh, this shout out 240. Rate, comment, subscribe. Please throw up the thumb for me. I appreciate that if y'all do that for me. I, I, I work a whole lot on these videos, man. So if y'all can do that for me, y'all don't even have to subscribe. Just give me a, a like or something like that, you know, whatever they do. Comment on the video. Tell me what you think. Tell me what I can improve on. And uh, I appreciate all the feedback that I've been getting so far. But I uh, shout out to Fort. I'm signing off. Holler at y'all in a minute.